Don't spray that there you on go. your skin. All right. So this is a, I think, 6X, 6X long hook. And I'm not sure what size it is. It looks like a, what do you think? Eight, maybe? Looks like an eight. But this is a really, this is a pattern that will actually work in catch fish. It's just not me making fun, all of me making fun of Larry. But as I said, the name of this fly is the Iron Dice. <laughs> And that was named by uh, Stan, who now lives up in Wisconsin. He's who was so upset? Mad. He got so mad he moved out of state. <laughs> yeah, he, he took second. <laughs> okay. You're welcome, Peter. In my tying room, I have a trash can right there. I don't use the little basket or anything like that. This fly may become familiar to you after I, I get a little bit into it. Because it looks a lot like another fly. <laughs> it doesn't have tippet on the front of it, does it? Not yet. And that's only when I take them to the fly swaps so I leave them to tip it on it. Here's another pair of scissors I use. Yeah, I think we're And we're gonna lash it down. So do you guys think this will float or not? Right now it will. Um, when I do these uh, popper things, I don't paint them um, except just a little spritz of some paint because they're white when I when I start them. And I found that they, if you get too much paint on them, they don't want to float. Got some unusual feathers here. They are grizzly at the tip and brown at the bottom, so it's going to be perfect for these flies. And where's my war? I it there it is. I'm tying a little bit of wire. This is uh, yellow Antron. Good stuff. Nice and fine. Do a little dubbing here. This is very similar to that other stuff that I used. <laughs>
not covering like it. This is the Palmer this hackle back. I was at a fly tying program in Denver in January and a guy by the name of Charlie Cravens was tying an elk hair caddis and he said basically shut your eyes and run the wire through there and that way you won't capture any of the <laughs> of those hackles and he he explained it that everybody kind of has a angle that they wrap and it's all the same and so if you quit worrying about it it's a lot easier and he's right I used to wiggle it and do all that kind of stuff so you just shut your eyes <laughs> not bad it works okay I'm doing a little helicopter technique here and try and break off this war Copper wall. Copper wall. And I'm going to throw a wing on here, Larry. Used a lot of elk hair today. The uh, elk hair really dulls scissors pretty well, so it does the synthetic materials. Okay, let's get that wing centered. And then wrap right... Ah! <laughs> it was, it was going to happen. That's it. I do it every time I tie it in front of people. Just to kind of let people know that it can happen to anybody. <laughs> Not a, you know, kind of on purpose thing, right, Larry? Sure. Get your own film. Your own film. And they see how fast I can root thread. We see your mediocre skills. <laughs> it was a good point to be uh, breaking the thread. Now I got to clean everything up. How'd I do that? Okay. Do I bind it down?
<clears throat> Where's that feather? Oh, this will work. You know, there's a couple of ways to do this. One of my favorite is just to strip them. Instead of taking them and cutting them and leaving those little barbules to uh, um, hold down your hold down and stuff. What'd you do? Okay, now this one doesn't require war. Do you recognize this fly at all? Oh, yeah. What would you call it? Gold runner. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a stimulator with a popper on it. And tell me this doesn't imitate a nice Kansas grasshopper. Yellow body. You go with like a green head on it. Normally what I do is I have a piece of masking tape on my table and take a big wad of this stuff I've done a few and just put it right there and pluck off and put back what I need. Don't keep reaching for the bag. I'm a fan of masking tape. On glue, masking tape. There we go. That would be perfect. Nice big wad. This first one needs to be right in front of that wing. And then come forward. What do you think, Paul? Nice. Another Paul. Nice. It's a third Paul as well. Now you're going to see me do something with this I haven't done all day. <clears throat> the whip finish. <laughs> Clean it up. The one you go on Tuesday? Uh, I'm going to be here Tuesday, but I'm going to start really getting serious on it. I'm looking at the wind and the weather. Now you got to deal with a little bit of that wind, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. Like, Kim, like Kim said, if you're waiting for a good day to fish in Kansas, you'll wait for a goddamn long day. Yeah. <laughs> Kim says that? Yeah. Yesterday was a good day. Was it? Well, I mean, weather-wise. Yeah. You didn't have to rain. use your AK? Well, that's a different <laughs> shoe guy. That's, that's iced tea, excuse me.